And good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. No doubt about it, train derailments have been in the news a lot lately, and there's a bill in the Nebraska legislature addressing train safety. We were at the Capitol today to hear the testimonies from those in support and against. Here's Channel 8's Jatine Tensley with our top story tonight. Jatine? That's right, Megan, and it was a packed house at the Capitol today with droves of railroad workers piling into room 1113 to testify on Legislative Bill 31 and share why they agreed with it or why they didn't. It's a hot button topic that has Nebraskans talking safety, especially after the recent trail derailing in Ohio that wreaked havoc on communities and left a host of questions unanswered. It's Bill LB31 presented by Senator Mike Jacobson, and it seeks to address safety concerns by passing a law that will require all crews to have a minimum of two people. A lot of people testified about PSR today. That stands for Precision Scheduled Railroading. Some say it puts money over safety by decreasing the railroad workforce, delaying inspections and repairs. 11-year railroad veteran Jacob Forsgren says the bill helps put safety first. Fully in support of it. Um, as, a, as a track maintenance worker, uh, if I'm working on double main where there's more than one track um, right next to each other, we might be working on one of those tracks while we're still having traffic pass us on the other track, upwards of 79 mile an hour sometimes. Now, having another set of eyes in the cab is... Uh, is, is much safer than removing one of those people. Person after person stepped up to the mic to support a bill that would ensure they didn't have to operate trains that go a minimum of 79 miles per hour with lengths more than a mile long alone. But not everyone was in full support of the bill. Some think the amount of staff should not be regulated by government. We reached out to Union Pacific Railroad for comment, and they sent us an official statement that said, quote, train crew size should continue to be determined through collective bargaining and not on a state-by-state -state basis. The proposed legislation would restrict the free flow of interstate commerce and limit our ability to compete in a business landscape where technology is rapidly changing the transportation industry. No data shows a two-person crew confined to a cab is safer. Others who opposed the bill talked about extensive hazmat training that is required by the railroad and the idea that train derailments are somewhat uncommon compared to the number of trains that operate. And it's important for me to tell you that senators had a lot of questions at this particular hearing. They wanted to know what conductors specifically do, how engineers work with conductors, and how long it takes to stop a train, in addition to various safety practices when they do derail. No determination was made on the bill today. Jatine, thank you very much for our top story tonight.